All right, Joseph has um, $5,000 in a bank. He wants to have this much. So that means we'd have to set up the problem like this. Um, 6,000 is equal to, all right? That's the eventual amount. This is the initial amount, 5,000. Okay, um, and then it's, it's the uh, continuously, so we're using the PERT. Okay, um, the rate, we don't know the rate. So I'm just going to put R. And then, of course, the time is uh, six years. Okay? So we need, to, um, we need to find R. The best thing to do, and what I'm going to teach you to do after the quiz, um, is use a graphing calculator. We're going we're gonna to use a graphing calculator to solve this. All right, so we are looking at our handy dandy graphing calculator. It's genius. Um, now, our strategy is going to be this. We're gonna take this equation and split it up into two functions. Um, one for the left side and one for the right side. So on the left, we simply have y equals 6,000. On the right, we have y equals um, 5,000 e to the r times 6 power. Okay, um, see how these two functions are being set equal to each other? So if we look at a graph, um, the place where these will be equal to each other um, would be the intersection. So for example, this graph is just a, a horizontal line. Like y equals a number is always just a horizontal line. This function is an exponential growth function. All right, so this function will be going like this, okay? So in the end, you're gonna have a horizontal line up here at 6,000, and then you're gonna have an, uh, an increasing graph going like this. And wherever they meet, um, that x value is gonna be the rate that you want, because this is like the x value. So that's what we're about to do. So go into the graphing calculator, you hit your y equals button, so that first one is 6,000, so there you go. And then the second one is 5,000, and then we need our E. Okay, where's E on this calculator, you guys? I see it above there, but I think I also see it over there, don't I? E, genius. All right, so I've got E um, to the Okay, so now I'm doing my, my rate um, is the variable, so I'm just going to call it x for right now. But then it's times 6. So these are my two formulas. Now if I were to graph this right now, okay, I see my uh, exponential growth function. I see this one, all right, but I don't see this one. I don't see the horizontal line. Do you know why I don't see it? because uh, this only goes up to 10 and uh, that function is uh, all the way up at 6,000 it's very high so I need to do what's called changing the window uh, so look do this hit the window button alright if you hit the window button you're looking at this this tells you um, how many x values you see and how many y values you see so, so far you see it's only going to negative 10 and positive 10 in both directions. But I need this thing to get up to a y value of 6,000. So, um, I guess I gotta scroll down here. So, just for good measure, I'm gonna make it 7,000. Just to make sure I can see it. Whoa, too far. Okay, 7,000. So, let's uh, take a look at that. Okay, so it's not easy to see, but this little piece right here, you can see um, this is the uh, function, um, the exponential growth function. This horizontal line way up here, this is your 6,000. So the point where these intersect, wherever that is, you know, is going to be um, the value. So to find the point of intersection, we're going to use a special function on this calculator it's under the trace menu well it's under the calculate menu which is a uh, part of this button so I will hit second trace to get to the calculate menu 
Now I want the intersection, that is option five. So I can either scroll down to five and hit enter, or, whoops, I went too far. Or I could have just pushed the number five. All right, either way, it starts off with this whole business. Now it's asking first curve, just hit enter. And then it says, well, how about the second curve? Just hit enter again. And then it's asking you for some kind of a guess, just hit enter a third time. And then bam, it gives you the intersection. Obviously the Y value is 6,000, as we knew. Um, but the X value is this. Now look, this is the rate. Okay, so I've got 0 0.030, let's round that to 0 0.04, because the next number is 8. So 0 0.0304. Okay, so I did all this on the calculator. Um, but let's just write this down, okay. So the rate, the R value was 0 0.0304. Now, turn this back into to a percent. Okay, so that means the interest rate is, moving that decimal point back where it came from, this would be 3.04%. Okay, so that's how you would find the lowest interest rate that it would take to turn $5,000 into $6,000 given a six-year period. All right.